We're here at the 2024 Pans with Mika Galval to gold in the middleweight division. Mika, four fights, three submissions. I want to start off with your first first match. Early in that match, you got put in a pretty deep footlock. Looked like it was pretty tight. Can you tell me? I, you ended up getting the submission in the match, but can you talk about that footlock? Did that impact you throughout the rest of the tournament? Very much. I almost gave up doing Pan Ams after the next day. <laughs> but uh, it was a pretty tight footlock. Uh, he got me in there right at the start of the match with probably like 30 seconds. And my foot, I heard it pop like three times. But after the, the third pop, I, I couldn't feel anything below my, my shim. So I was like, you know, whatever. If it's broken, it's already broken. If it's not, I'm just gonna try to win this match and then I will see later the, the result. And even right now, if you see it, it's a little purple here and it's a little swollen, but still, that's fine. Uh, I'm gonna try to walk to the car and then later on we can think about it. We got the title. <laughs> but I think that a lot of things build up for this moment. I had some stomach issues. I had uh, some nose and breathing issues. I had the foot. It, it was a hard week, I'm not gonna lie. It was a hard week, but I'm just grateful and blessed. Today. So you persevered, so got the submission in that match. Mm -hmm. You would go on to get two more submissions, including one in the final. But tell me about like how you changed up your strategy and your game dealing with that foot injury. First match of the day or the second day was, I think, one of the toughest ones mentally. Uh, building up to going against Vinicius Canto was something hard for me because I knew that he was someone that was uh, chasing the foot at all times in his matches. I was studying him a little bit and I was like pretty scared, I'm not going to lie. But uh, right before I was listening to music where it kind of helped me calm down, a little gospel that I like to listen into my matches. And I had talks with my mom, had talks with a, a priest from Sao Paulo that I really like him. I had some talks with uh, my dad and my whole team. And like, you know what, whatever. Uh, if, I, if I'm afraid, it's gonna happen. If it, I'm not afraid, at all, it's gonna happen. So okay. I'm just gonna have faith and do my best. If it's supposed to be, it will be. If it's not, then it will not be, so. Yeah, the result, the result came. The guy up there knows his plans, and I'm just blessed today. <laughs> so the final was against Andy Murasaki. You faced him in the final at Europeans. You mm -hmm. got the submission there. This match was a little bit different. You decided to pull guard, yes. and then you went to that arm drag from the close guard to the back, a move that you're really, really good at. So walk me through the strategy for Andy and how it changed from Europeans to the Pans. I decided on that strategy 10 minutes before the match. Yeah, I was talking to my dad and he suddenly looked at me like, Mika, why don't you just jump on the close guard? I was like, mm, maybe, yeah, we should do it. And we had a whole plan like thinking about Andy because uh, I knew that he was one of the favorites on the other side of the bracket. We know how tough he is, how experienced he is on the, on the IBGF scenario. So uh, I was having a lot of game plans to go against him. And you know, it's a match, some things are core. And then I, I just talked to my dad a little bit before the match and I told him, okay, I'll try to jump into the close guard. The thing that is gonna be decided here is that the moment I touch his Yi and I firm my grips, if he doesn't pull first, then I'm gonna jump right away. And he was decided. The guy up there had his plans. I had my plans too along. They worked well and we were able to uh, secure it back there and also get the submission. But Right before that, I got a little bit scared, I'm not gonna lie, because I got the triangle locked, and then Andy started like rolling a little bit, he started pushing my foot, I was like, if it's gonna break again, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> but uh, I just couldn't give up on the back there, and we got the, the good result. <laughs> when we talked to you at the Europeans, you mentioned that you wanted to get gold at Europeans, Pans, Brasileros, and Worlds. Halfway there, two titles in the middleweight division. Mm -hmm. How are you feeling going into the second half of the major gi championships now? I'm not gonna lie, I'm just thinking a step each time and I, I'm not even thinking about the Grand Slam anymore I'm just thinking like okay I'm gonna do my best on this year whatever comes will come uh, I'm just gonna try to get as much experience as possible because 2022 was a great year for me but we had some chart upcomings in there and I just want to make the best out of 2024 um, I have my plans but as I said the gap there always know what's best so whatever my plans are they don't matter <laughs> it's gonna be decided on him <laughs> well congratulations on your performance here today at the pans thank you hope your foot heals up really quick we'll see you again soon at the Brasileiros yes let's go galera do Brasileiro aí só bora daqui a pouco vamos estar fazendo mais uma voltinha aí é, agora descansar um pouquinho aproveitar um pouquinho a medalha que vai ser mais ou menos meia horinha aí de voltar pro foco é isso, amo todos vocês aí do Brasil, obrigado que me acompanham, me dão a torcida, fiquem com Deus e se vemos nas próximas. Ouça! <risos>